Sparkle Squad, this is Monica, and woo, look at all this beautiful pink and red here for the month of February. <laughs> well, now I have to say, I had a little shopping spree, and I was, went to my friends at Softlex.com's website because they were going to have a collaboration with my other good friends over at Jesse James Beads called Galentine's Day. And then they were also at Softlex having the Love Bug Kit. So I wanted to purchase the Love Bug Kit in particular. And at the time that I purchased one, I got one free with a certain amount of purchase. They were giving away a free Valentine Love Bug Kit with the love notes that we were purchasing. In two different purchases, I did this. So I did get the the Galentine's Day kit and a Valentine Love Note kit and a Love Bug Mystery Design kit. And then I got two of the Love Bug strands to go with my kit. But I also then got a free Love Note and a free Love Bug because of the different sales that I purchased in. But then on top of that, my friends at softflex.com sent me another free love bug mystery design kit for me to review for you. <laughs> so look at all this. I've just got so much love, don't I? I'm so happy. Look at it. You know, I don't get valentines from like the hubby or anything. We don't really do any of that. I have to have my valentines some other way. So I will either purchase myself some beads or some flowers at the grocery store or something. And this year I chose beads. Did I choose wisely? I think I did. So I'm excited to look at this. And then what's in the bubble wrap behind there that you can't really see are all the additional strands and things that I bought. So since this is all valentines, and lovey-dovey and all that stuff and all from Softlex. I'm just going to go ahead and do it in one gigantic haul. So I hope that you bear with me and I hope that we have fun doing this together because I'm excited. So yeah, look at that. He looks a little bit sad, doesn't he? Him all tipped over. He's had a little bit too much love bug juice, I guess. So there's that one. And then look at this little purple and pink one. Isn't he cute? Aww. And here's another one. He's not laying over on his side, so I guess he's more alert. Okay, so let, let's open the Galentines first. Bead my Valentine. Isn't that precious? And yes, I will. Thank you. Now, they had that collaboration with Jesse James, and you could buy the Jesse James kit over on their website and then participate in their Galentine party. And so I will link that video in case you're interested in that because you might want to make some of their designs. So this was the soft flex side of the house of that Galentine party that they were going to have. And then you would go over to Jesse James to actually buy the beads and everything that they used in that Galentine party. I just did not do that part because I wanted all the love bug stuff <laughs> and the Valentine love note stuff over here at soft flex. <laughs> So, you know, I'm missing that part of the Galentine party, but still. I got the findings. So, I've got some crimp tubes. I've got some ear wires and some lobster claw clasp, all in the silver color. And then I got four of their beautiful spools of wires. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. This first color from the quad pack is Garnet Color. And it's a very nice deep red pretty. And then we have pink tourmaline, and I absolutely love this color. I buy it by the huge spools. This is purple amethyst. And then, of course, we have to have white quartz. And that is something that you can purchase together if you want all of those colors together and you don't have them in your stash already. If you have been listening to me sing their praises, the Softlex bead stringing wire is very high quality and they custom make this in all of these different colors. I love to use this type of colorful wire in my designs, especially if I'm going to do like the illusion necklaces or whatnot, or if I want to not and I don't have to worry about the knots coming loose or kinking up the jewelry design overall. These little spools that come in our kit are the higher quality. They're at the 49 strands, which is all compacted or compressed together. And they look like it's just one strand of wire here that you're actually pulling out from the spool. But it's because all 49 strands are within that one strand that you can see there. So that is what's cool about it. And it doesn't kink. It offers more flexibility because of those 49 strands together. I absolutely love the wrapping. I say this every stinking time, but it's the truth because 
It's just so much fun. And then this is especially a lot more fun because they put little buggies on the actual wrapping. Isn't that cute? And I have all of that in each of these other kits that are off to the side. My bead strand that I was talking about will probably be in the bubble wrap. First up, we've got some more of this pink tourmaline in the 49 strand bead stringing wire. This love bug bead mix is so cute. Oh my gosh, it looks like those are little rose quartz beads. They're actually pretty good size too. And some bright fuchsia with some gold bindings. Some little black hearts, they're kind of bumpy there. So I have three of these packs because I've got three of the Love Bug kits. And that is good because these are such large beads that they're kind of eating up what's inside of here. Very happy to have extras. Now I've got some bead strands. These are beautiful little hearts. These are Czech glass beads and they have like metallic rainbow effect on the accents within those little grooves. These are double-sided beads. Lovely. This is a check glass bead and it looks like a faceted, looks like a six millimeter black check glass bead. And then we have some beautiful little red hearts that are mirrored on one side, red on the other. And then we have some actual bugs. We got two <laughs> little ladybugs here. And then we've got two more little ladybugs in glass. I think these are ceramic or maybe porcelain. We've got a bumblebee. How cute is he? And then we have a hammered heart charm, some ear wires in the French, French hook style along with a lobster style clasp. And then I've got some gunmetal crimp tubes for the bead stringing wire. So you get a ladybug ceramic beads, the little bee is ceramic, and then you have the check glass hearts and the check glass ladybugs over here. So that's what that is, ceramic. If you're not familiar with these Softlex design kits, they are the mystery design kits every month that have everything that you need to make your designs except for the tools. And you can also then post pictures of your beautiful designs in the VIB studio group on Facebook. That is with Softlex Very Important Beater, VIB. And they will choose like a random winner every month to win a, a free kit. That's usually on the last Wednesday of the month. Go check their channel and their Facebook out. And then pictures and things that are shared with them will possibly wind up on their social media as well as their blog that they write every month. So that's very nice. And that helps to support the beaters. So we're supporting them as a small business and they are turning right back around and supporting us. And I just find that extremely genuine of them to do because, you know, in today's day and time, everybody, we've got choices of where we choose to purchase from. Then I've got two of the love notes. Roses are red, violets are blue. We have the best customers, especially ones just like you. <laughs> Thanks, Softlex. So that's a cute little love note. We get some more of this beautiful bead beading wire, and this is that garnet color, which is super pretty. I'm just stacking them up over here. And then I've got some, oh, this is floss. So this is like a stretchy cord floss. So I can make all kinds of nice little stretch bracelets and stuff with that. And here are the beads and stuff. Creating joy one bead at a time. This little sparkly heart. We got a bunch of pinks and reds. Looks like we've got some hearts in there. So we've got Lampwork Glass Heart there in that red color. We've got some of this Czech Glass Heart in red. But we also have it there in pink. We've got a bunch of check glass drops in the whites and pinks and reds. Look at all that sparkle. And then kind of mixed in there in the depths, looks like there, there's some little hematite spacers. They're actually like gold on the sides and hematite there in the center. So those are little teeny tiny rondelles. So how cute. This will help me to fill up my bead design as well, so that's gonna be really cool. And I get two of those larger Lampwork glass hearts. Now these Heishi beads, they have some bright orange, which I'm not really feeling that with 
Valentine's Day. But these are super popular. I think these are polymer clay is what it feels like. But look at all those little colors there. And they're kind of uniform, I think. They look like it. When you're using natural heishis that are cut from stone, it's not necessarily uniform. But with polymer clay, you've got a little bit more control over it is from what I'm seeing anyway. I like the colors in there, but I don't like the orange overall. I'm going to go ahead and open up the second love note just to see what changes. So I've got all of the same stuff in this bag. There was an additional purchase that I made and we're just going to open this up. Oh my gosh, I forgot I bought these. These are so pretty. Look at these little birds. Aren't those beautiful? How cute. Oh my goodness, those are such pretty little bird beads. They have a pink that kind of goes ombre effect into a lavender purple. And this is a gold wash on the bead itself. It is a two-sided bead. And some people don't like these because the washes are not uniform in a lot of cases, but I think they're really pretty. It lends itself well to the handmade vibe. You know, they're just not going to be something that is mass produced the same every single time. I mean, the impression is going to be the same, but each bead is going to be slightly different. Then I got some of the turquoise colored ones. With, uh, I think this is supposed to be that rose gold wash. Those bird beads are super fun. I got a check glass strand that is this beautiful turquoise blue with a silver tone to it. And these are really pretty. I, f I don't remember what that shape is, but it's blue and green. Isn't that nice? Reminds me of the ocean. Then I got some in that pink. It's kind of a peachy pink, really. Super sparkly. Nice large size. Probably a 10 millimeter. Then I got some more of these arabesque beads. Um, if you watched that video that I did where she actually took us to the Czech Republic via her contact, John, he showed us all of these different types of Czech glass beads directly in the warehouse that we were able to, to then pick out the different types of colors and designs and things that we might want for Sarah and those at Softlex to purchase and then bring back for us to purchase. And that was so much fun to watch that. I will put a link below to that video or put a card in here so you can see that. But the arabesque bead, something that is a trendy design, and I got a multi-set of that because they were on sale. This is a turquoise color with a gold wash. This is black with silver wash. This is a beautiful pink. I love this pink. And it's got a fuchsia wash. And I love this bead. Look how pretty that is. That is a beautiful blue with a turquoise blue wash. So here are my Sparkle by Monica colors. You knew I was going to do it, didn't you? <laughs> and then this one is a, I don't know, Oh, is that kind of like a beige with a copper wash? Really pretty, really pretty beads. And at first I didn't really care for them when we were looking at them as they were pointed out in the warehouse. But then I got some in a kit. I forget what kit that was that Softflex put that in. And then I just, I fell in love with it. So then now I'm, I'm collecting them. So when they put these on sale, I decided, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and get those. <laughs> and then this one is another, I think, bundle. I want to say this is the fire polish. Oh, they're so pretty. I just want you to look at all the sparkle. Oh my Lord, I'm in heaven. <laughs> that is so beautiful all different so we have this one like silver but you can see some blues and a little bit of amber looking pink in there then this is a mauvey purple with some golden maria on it this has a little bit more blue and a green with that gold maria on it I love this. This is that rose gold and coppery look. This has probably become one of my favorites right here. And look how pretty this would be with that. I am in heaven. I mean, that is going to be definite in the design realm here. <laughs> love that. Then we have a darker purple with a bunch of flash to it. And it's got a little bit of um, like a spotted design that I think might be a fuchsia. This is pink. 
nice beautiful pink color this is another it's not quite rose gold but it's got a pink and a chocolatey brown mix and i think we got that in that chocolate covered cherry last february maybe in that kit from soft flex i have a video showing you that if you're interested in that this is a beautiful color this is kind of a uh, lilac I love these beads. Now these are a nice eight millimeter size too. So this can be the main component of any design and then everything else can be more petite. Here is a silver, I believe. I don't know, it's giving me a blue vibe. Maybe my eyeballs are having a time, but it is silvery, periwinkle-ish. <laughs> don't, you, don't you love my descriptors here? And then this is gold. This is interesting. This is a ambery yellow with some of that brown. That is cool. I don't have anything like that, I don't think. And then here is a minty green with a greenish metallic look to it. I love that bundle. Oh my gosh, I think I've actually bought this bundle before. I've just not unboxed it yet because, you know, I tend to do that. When things go on sale, I will make sure it's a really good sale and I will buy it. And then if I don't have time to film a uh, haul for you guys, then a lot of times it goes into my little storage container until I'm ready to use it. So, I know. Isn't that, that might be a sickness, but we're not going to discuss that. Oh, I think this might be my little strands that I bought for the Love Bug kit. Oh, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on. Come on, Monica. You're losing it. You're losing control here. Oh, there they are. Look at that. Oh, let's see. Did I get it? Did I get it? Okay, now this does not have a lady. Oh, it does too. Oh, there's the pink one. And there's the red one. Oh my gosh. I got I got both. I got both. two strands because they took care of me they gave me one of each color of the ladybug so it is a connector oh my gosh i know see i'm out of breath i'm so excited that it worked out <laughs> ah. Woo. okay so monica monica might need to go to beating therapy or something i don't know she's 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 a little bit too excitable that is awesome sauce. Oh my gosh. I think those are so cute. Look at that. These strands are gorgeous. Now this is the Jesse, uh, Jesse James bead strands that coordinate with the Love Bug kit over here. So I did purchase two of those because that was another thing they said. If you purchase the Love Bug strands, then they would include a, a Ladybug connector. And they had the red one and they had the pink one, but they weren't going to promise you which one you were going to get. So I took a chance in buying two strands that I would hopefully get one of each color. And I'm so happy I did. Oh my gosh, that just makes me so happy. I, I don't know. If they see this, they're probably going to think I'm a nut. But that's okay. I, I admit it willingly. I told you that many times. <laughs> no shame in that, right? Okay, so here's some other things I purchased. Ugh, I don't know how I can get through the rest of these. I'm almost done. I've got one more package over there. Okay, this is Dalmatian Jasper, and these are little donuts, and I love these. These are so cute. So I've got some ideas for that. And then I got some Tierra Cast Thistles, and these are just some charms. I got the copper, and I got the uh, aged... Did I get the aged bronze or the aged? Well, maybe I got the aged bronze and then I got a gold. Yeah, so I got one of each of those. And then I got the silver color. Now, unfortunately for all of us, the Tierra Cast Company has shut down. They're closing. So, it's really sad and I hate it. I hoped that something would work out to where, you know, they would have something offered, you know, miraculously online or something. But I don't know if that's going to come, come to fruition. But in the meantime, whenever I see Tierra cast, I'm usually picking it up anyway. I'm all thistled up now. 
And then I got some of these. You can't buy happiness, but this is pretty close. This was just a little bead mix that they had. And I forget now what they called it, like a bead grab bag or something like that. And you could choose which, how many levels that you wanted as for the price point. And this is, this is fun because they did some pinks and some chocolate browns and everything. And already I am seeing this go with that. That's going to be even maybe this. I don't know. I'm going to play around. Oh my goodness, girls and boys. I am telling you, I got a bunch of stuff. The Little Love Bug Kit is something that they sent to me for free. And I'm not going to open the other two that I have because they're exactly the same as the one that you saw me open earlier. Except for the cute little bugs that's attached to the wrapping. So their next kit is called Special Tea, and you can purchase that now. These kits usually retail for $34.95, and they include everything that you need for your jewelry pro projects, except minus the tools, obviously. But I purchased a whole bunch of goodies. I hope that you've enjoyed looking at them with me. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share this with any of your jewelry making friends that might be interested in the Softflex Mystery Design Kit or anything in general from their website because it's all beautiful and sparkly. And also leave me a comment below. What was your favorite here? I love to hear from you guys. If you've not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a sparkle-tastic Valentine's Day, y'all. Bye!